hey my friend would you like to have one of those chat bots on your blog I mean you must have seen them in Facebook messenger where you can go to a Facebook page and interact with a bot and set up answers and questions and uh, images and videos and all sorts of different things based on the user's input so you got a blog site and you want to add a chat bot to that let's show you how to do that easily with a tool that I've been using for quite a while I'm going to show you what it looks like on my blog if you haven't already seen it we're going to go into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So a chatbot, what is a chatbot, right? You have a conversation with somebody so you can get them to a point where they're actually interested in what you have to offer. So you don't have to yourself talk to people uh, and interact with them until you know that they're actually interested the chatbot is one of the best ways to accomplish this so let me just show you what I have on my site if you go to my blog you, and you uh, and you you know visit my blog like this you're going to see it down the bottom here see down the bottom let me put my mouse over it down the bottom I've got a little guy saying hello like this right it's just down the bottom there it's not very oh actually let's reload the page because I did already click it when you first visit the site when you first visit the site the uh the it'll have a little piece, piece of text there that it might entice you to click it right it starts off it's loading up just to give you a second here it starts off with a little how can I help now that text is fully customizable I just put that like this how can I help somebody and then there's a two a little number two right there which could be a different number you want a one there or want a five whatever you want and you can actually do that on your blog now this is not part of the blog theme this is a wordpress site and it can be on any website I actually have it also on my click ecourse site right if I go to click ecourse click ecourse is not um is not a is not a wordpress site it's it's a cust co totally custom site and I have this little chatbot right there too now it's got the same image but it could have a different image if I wanted definitely has different interaction if I click it here it pops up right like this and it shows me the um it tell it says welcome to click ecourse site do you have time for a quick chat and the first thing the person needs to do is they need to respond well that that's just the way I set it up by the way you can set it up whichever way you want it doesn't really matter I set it up like this because I want the person to first say that they have time right because I mean at they're asking they click the thing because they want help so chances are they do have time so they're usually going to click on the sure thing and then I say okay great my name is bot <laughs> maybe I should say my name is js what's your name uh, and I'm just going to say uh frank right here and I just send that and then the bot responds back I'm happy to meet you frank see how it's, how it used my name that I put in there right later on I can have more uh comments or questions or things like that for frank based on him putting their name is right so then I then I have what can I help you with okay I want to host a course I want to find a course I want to attend or buy a course I want to set up my blog or something else right so you can set that up with different options different things if I go to my blog for example uh I actually that's uh, because I, I exited the page there's that's another another you can have a bot for an exit page right like this one here it'll pop up if I try to exit though I guess it doesn't have that on this page I'll show you something else so over here I have this one if I click on him on my blog it's going to load up that particular uh chat bot um trend conversation right I started with the same thing I say welcome to my blog do you have time for a quick chat I I kind of started with that so that that way it it make it means that they accepted the privacy policy that's kind of one of the things that I do awesome my name is Jean-Serge what's your name I'm gonna say uh, I'm Bob and we'll see what happens here right so this is a conversation that I'm having with my chatbot on the website it says I'm happy to meet you Bob if you're like me you're building a business online for what you've been building your business what would you say is your number one priority lead generation closing sales growing fans building a list something else so how about building a list I want to build a list cool okay so 
if anyone tells me that building a list isn't important I'm not gonna listen to anything else they have to say lol list building is a cornerstone I guess I gotta fix that I got a typo here and let, let's show you how to do that okay let's just go I'm actually gonna go fix this typo right here in my dashboard and later on I'll show you how to get into this but let's go into the bots my bots show you how I find how I use this bot if I go to my uh, js blog 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 I think welcome blog right here I go to uh just settings and then I can go into and find that particular in the design it's actually in the builder part I'm kind of going to go go fix that right now so I'm going to say uh what am I interested in I'm interested in building a list so if I edit this someone tells me there's a corner there it is coroner that's not right let's change that to cornerstone of any online business tell me that building I'm gonna not let's make this uppercase lol and actually add a little funny face whoops put a winking oh I wanted that over not there I want it over here a winking face there we go and then I'm just gonna save it so I save it and then I launch it so now when I reload this if I do it again if I go back to my blog here uh I have to reload the page obviously because the bot has already had a conversation so the way the bot works is that every new load of a page allows for a new conversation and um so you can have you can reload the page to start over or uh whenever a new visitor comes right it'll be the same thing right they'll have this they'll have this ability to to load up a bot right so I click this here to start the conversation I'll do the same thing again right just to show you that that's fixed uh, and then we're going to show you how to get your own bot on your blog on your site so on your any website really it's just basically a header that you put in you've got to set up the bot uh, you got to set up the account obviously and then you uh, then you can create your bot and then uh, then you do something like this right so I'm going to say Bob again and then I'm going to say lead uh, generation or no what was it uh, list building right so I'm interested in list building what I want to know is building a list and then I have the right text there with the, the fixed right see how it says lol now with a little smiley face and now I have the cornerstone it says cornerstone right anyways it's never easy to build business online one of the things I discovered over time was that it can be simple I can click on continue and then it says even I uh, even did a series of short videos called simple online strategies um that ended up allowing me to create a simple 12-step program and uh, which is this here and would you like your free copy so this is one way I can get people to get on my list right I'm say absolutely and then they'll say then I'll ask them what's your email fantastic I'll need your name and email to send it out to you what's your last name my last name is uh, tester Bob tester and my best email is Bob tester at there you go and that's going to add me to that list and it's actually going to send me uh it's going to send me the what's my experience I thought it was awesome experience thank you so much five stars and have a wonderful day wonder have yourself a best day ever oh look at that I guess I got to fix that that's another one bot user first name I wonder why that didn't show right but anyways that's kind of how you sit that's what you can do with a bot you can do lots of other things as you can see from this builder page right you have a whole bunch of different options here I made this a simple bot this basically is a conversation you follow the arrows is the 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 way somebody can do things so for example see how we had the welcome right here where the welcome said oh, welcome to my blog do you have time for a quick chat right then there's a user response to this it says sure is the only option they have allowed to skip it no they can't and legal consent that means it'll show the legal consent on the thing and I'm just going to close that so whenever they say sure if they if they don't do anything nothing happens right but if they click on the sure button it goes to the next 
the next one right here right and in this one we have we asked them awesome my name is Jean Serge what's your name right <coughs> and then the user response is a text input their first name and just capitalize each word validation validate please enter a valid first name so that's kind of the th kinds of things you can do with your chatbot I'm just going to cancel this and then the lot this third one here is all the questions so happy to meet you about to use your first name that's kind of weird that 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 worked there but not at the end name anyways well whatever uh would you like to say is your number one priority now as you can, as if you remember we had four buttons right so that's what this is right these four buttons were here one two three four five right so the way that chatbot works is that if you have more than one possible answer it gives you a bunch of uh, uh possible buttons right as you can see right here each of these are different responses the first one the second third four and each of these go to a different place right like you see right here this third one goes to this growing uh, sales right there right if we can I click it is it no it doesn't let me see but as you can see the line is right here and that shows me kind of in, in bold right what where it's going to right I can move these around if I want right like this uh so that I can kind of see I could organize that differently I could put these like this right I could do that if I wanted right um but we're not going to do that let's put them back where they were because it's that's kind of how I put it together um and then each of these they all go to the same thing right uh they all go to the same thing so I've got here the same message for it doesn't matter what the person says because all I want is to get them on my list right so that's my goal you can have different goals you can have a whole bunch of different conversations based on all sorts of different things you could have you know a whole series of comments and questions on lead gen a whole series on closing sales on growing fans on building lists on something else you could have a whole set of different things now the reason why I didn't make it though the complicated is because I started that way I started with I don't know if I still have it if I go back to there I don't know if I still have the original bot that I created for that it was pretty complicated uh, maybe this one was the first one let me see settings builder so the first one I did was a lot more complicated and I can show you yeah so let's just make it let's go smaller to see the whole thing so there's the whole thing see how how much how many lines there are everywhere all sorts of different things I actually did that in the beginning and the problem I had with that is that there it's so complex if I have a typo somewhere if I have a if I want to make a change if I want to add a different thing if I want to it's really hard to go through and and figure it out it's not impossible and if you want a really complex bot you certainly can it's uh it's definitely possible but uh but I didn't uh I didn't keep that complex but I just let it I just let it be right I asked them what do they want to do there's a, okay a simple and online strategies then I said yes to 12 steps and then uh, <laughs> then if they're not interested I go to a different thing they're a different biz do you have a business right what kind of business do you have <laughs> all these different things I asked them it was pretty complex what you can do with this bot it's really cool how you can get this out so okay now let's just get right let's go okay say you want to get this bot how do you get it right so here's how you get it you go to um well actually you can go to my blog right you can just go to my blog and you can click on this on the bot down here or you can load up the the, the default bot you'll see down the bottom it says my conversion bot right there you can just go straight to that myconversionbot.com or just click on it I'm going to open it up in incognito right here it basically loads up your ability to 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 set that bot up or to create an account and I don't know what the deal is right now but they have deals all the time let's see what the deal is right now um when I'm watching this I don't know I don't know if the deal is going to be the same when you click it if you're watching this in a week a month or whatever it is from now I'm not sure about the deal but right now they have they have they have let's see what do they have where's the deal the price is someplace on here uh, build their site AI 32 all these people using it 
zapier integration there's a whole bunch of things oh and by the way they're starting to do a Facebook messenger integration I haven't used it yet with this but uh but where is it where is it conversion for low low price is there a price anywhere there's got to be a price somewhere right what's the deal right now all the people using it it's a really it's a really cool platform it really does all this um it's 791 so 500 97 retail value 97 no 97 no exceptions uh, okay there they are so they have the light version which is limited uh 27 dollars oh 27 dollars a month that's pretty good oh no one-time payment oh wow you should ha! and look for ten ten dollars more that's insane the conversion pro which is what I have that does unlimited chat bots uh, multi-site license 10 done for you full commercial license sell your bots that kind of stuff obviously I have that because I I promote it but uh over here you get conversion look at that 37 dollars like I said I don't know if that's going to be the price right now plus there's even a 10 percent off pro version coupon right now I don't know if that coupon will be available to you uh where see use coupon code for 10 percent discount as well so instead of 67 a month it's only 37 one time payment a lifetime payment you get on it right now I don't know if like I said I don't know if that deal's up, uh, available right now when you're watching it but if it is I'd jump on it because at that price it's ridiculous right a lifetime for the whole thing anyways I've got a lifetime I did get a lifetime license I don't remember how much I paid for it but uh that's how you get it you just go here and then uh they'll give you if you if you actually let's see is that still so Carly don't leave just yet she's saying wait wait one more give you something tell me more so what is it I don't know if that's available for you when you're there but if it is uh but uh it could be a good but I can't commit right now the price is an issue okay what's <laughs> 37 dollars is an issue right um wow lowest price possible even more see 50 people what is it carly carly code 50 people and 15 percent off even 15 instead of, that's even less wow anyways you should do that go ahead and try to leave the page and it'll pop up if it's still available you might be able to this click this link to get this discount copy uh purchase third anyways so that's huh wow okay anyways that's how you get the account you just go here you click on the button to get it and it'll ask you for your information let's see what it does it asks you for um let's see where is it Canadian dollars special offer 14 hours uh, email address that this me a Canadian 52 if I put in the coupon where's the coupon coupon oh there it is the coupon's there 524 ah 47 that's Canadian dollars right let's see what the what does it say in US 37 yeah so 33.30 oh I guess if I use the Carly coupon can I where can I use the Carly coupon must have been uh, must have been I must have had to click it but anyways that's how you get it that's how you get it that's the first thing you got to do you got to get the account after you've gotten it you you can go to um, the page like I do here over here you'll end up on the that let's go to the dashboard here obviously when you first set up you won't have a bunch of bots like I do um and you can upgrade you got different things you can do as well right uh, uh conversion bot extreme agency asset uh, auto builder done for you pro all these different things and you can create let's say create a bot so norm like I said you won't have a bunch of bots like this but let's just create one so first you got to create your bot let's give it I'm going to put it in a test folder uh actually let's go to folder first uh where's the folders 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 my bots let's go to my bots instead so I can choose a folder I can say a folder here test folder bot test there you go I'm just going to create one in the bot here create a bot in the bot test 
no I thought the folder showed up automatically but it's bot test okay let's call it bot tests bot tests oh there's the select folder Ugh. okay <laughs> bot test right here okay the bot name is going to be test for cis what are we 308 are we I think yes we are 308 cis 308 let's do that so create it so that's that's the first thing you got to do you got to just create the bot click the create bot button and the first thing you go into is your builder so in the builder you add blocks so each block is basically an interaction with a user right so the first block is what they get when they click on the on the little image right so you click on add block right here and then you just click it to go edit it and then this is the block default message right welcome to my website right so you do that so you can just do that but if you want to um you, what you want normally is you want the 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 user to do something to go to the next block because you could have you could ask them a question say for example you're in um you're in the pet foods let's say we're in pet foods right um let's just ask them this question right let's ask them this question let's go and say um let's see let's add another message and say so after two seconds it's going to ask them do you have a whoops what kind of pet do you have right so this is let's say this is a website for pet food or something right well you're going to ask them what kind of pet they have right so let's say that it's uh so the, then what you do is you put user responses so the user responses you're going to go in here you're going to say input is going to be buttons and I'm going to say button type it doesn't really matter let's make it I can make it full size let's make it wider and then I'm going to say dog and I'm going to add another one whoops plus I'm going to say cat I'm going to say bird I'm going to say fish right and then I'm going to say other I'm going to say other I don't want to have I mean I could have a whole bunch of other uh, I could have a whole list right lizard and and uh, uh well you know <laughs> a rodent uh anyways whatever the let's just say that these are these are the only ones we sell food for is dog cat bird and fish and we don't sell food for anything else so whenever they click other we're going to say oh sorry we don't have food for this but here are some other sites you can go to maybe we give them some 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 help to find a site that sells food for their pet right I'm going to say legal consent right here to make sure that they they see this uh, by ex by clicking you accept our privacy policy and this is going to be https uh, let's put my so my blog site.com slash legal right so you have a page that has a legal privacy policy or let's call it privacy privacy and my, my in my case I have that obviously on my page I have <coughs> a privacy statement page so that's all good so I'm going to say continue right here and I'm going to save it all right so now I have oh here's the other thing so let's just change the name of the block to welcome all right save that uh, so I could have asked them for their name it probably would make sense to ask them for their name or maybe I can ask them for the their pet's name right or I can add actually I can make this here let's add a block and let's call this welcome I'm going to call this welcome welcome I'm going to say welcome to the best pet food online store there is my name my name is is rocky what's yours what's your name my name is rocky what's your name and then I'm going to add here I'm going to say uh I'm going to say it's text and it's going to be my first name 
and I'm just going to say capitalize each first word validation I want to make sure that they enter a valid name I'm going to continue oh actually I should I should make it uh, I should make this the legal consent right continue continue save and I'm going to make this block here a pet pet mm, type right pet uh pet what what's uh, pet, anyways whatever I'll just say pet type for now uh and that I want to remove the legal consent because they already did it there we go save that and I'm going to make this go to this that's all you got to do you got to go like this and now it's connected to it so that means that whenever they click on welcome the first thing they get is the net they get a question of the pet type right so let's actually make sure we have the right message here because uh, because uh, originally it was a welcome uh, let's okay so welcome okay nice to meet you um mm -mm. Uh, forget the user response buttons placeholder right here that's where you would say bot first name copy this and then I just put that here nice to meet you what kind of pet do you have pet type save that all right so now we have we have a welcome to the site uh, what's your name my name is x what's your name and then over here in the pet type it's, we start with nice to meet you uh, name what kind of pet you have right so remember if we remember we had dog cat fish bird or whatever so in, over here I just add a block I can say I can say uh dog right this is a dog what's your that's that's wonderful that's wonderful what's what's your dog's name so now whoops I got this now the reason why you do that is let's just say um user response it's going to be text and I don't know there's a custom I think custom text custom field I'm going to say dog name and let's just do the same thing here and custom fields should not contain special characters or spaces that's good and there you go okay so now I just save that and I and if we remember correctly I'm pretty sure the first one was a dog right user response <clears throat> the first one was that okay so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this first one here and bring it over to this guy right and I can do I can take this copy it and move it over here and this one is cat right it's gonna be the same thing right cat oh I probably should have uh, called that pet name right oh yeah what's your what's your dot what's your cat's name what's your oh look at that I got a typo what's your cat's name and actually it should be the same thing here it should be cat it should be pet name instead of dog name that way it can be the same no matter what pet they have right save that I'll go back to this one this is going to be the cat over here the, the number two is the cat number one is the dog let's edit this again we want to what's your dog's name and it's going to be pet name over here I just want to make sure they're all the same pet name continue save so uh you get the idea right so I can create more more of these uh these these little blocks I can add blocks for each of the different pets you can use the c to copy a block and edit it if I do that again it'll give me another copy I can put it over here and I can make this my fish bird let's say bird I think I had bird next right what's your bird's name bird's name right save that and then I can just uh, go here and make the this this one here is whoops no what I want is this guy whoops this one there you go okay 
a bird right here right so now I have a dog a, a dog <coughs> a bird and I can have the I have the cat so depending on what they click on they'll get this so once you've got this all set up that's obviously the first part that's probably the more complicated part is just to kind of think through what kind of conversation you want to have with the visitor what you want to help them with so that they get to a point where if they actually want to talk to you because you can do that you can add something that says in here you can do let's say we add a block here that we call uh it's going to be um let's see user response uh let's see my email address I need my email address time picker date picker file upload so you can actually have it so that they can request an, an appointment with you a call that kind of thing um then you can have buttons text file uploads you can do all sorts of different things right it's pretty crazy all you can do and I should probably build these things to show you how to do these different things but for now I just wanted to show you if you have um let's close this let's go to I'm just gonna save it I, I can launch it <clears throat> even though it's not finished it's not a big deal uh, but the next step is your design so the next thing you got to do and we'll talk about how to integrate it with your website in a second the next thing you can do is your design you can choose the background color I want it to be a gradient whatever like this let's say you can that's good that's fine message bubble I can make it shape one uh where is it shape two square shape three which is round on every side except for the the this side right the bot message uh I can make the message text some other color I can make the sub message text another color too uh, and all that you can do all these different things the text can be you know I'm not sure but anyways all that stuff can change you can do the text you can actually change the font if you want you can change the um, the size of it right make it bigger bot design the next part is the bot design you can make it on the right or on the left right it can be on the left or the right of your website uh the um the full page that's if you have a full page one the bot overlay text um and then the secondary overlay text the overlay text I believe is that can I help you right there right what's up what's up like that right and bot secondary overlay text is going to be after they start the conversation if they close the bot up like if I go here for example right uh no not here right here if I go here and I I start I've started the conversation with the bot now if I close him oops if I close him now he's now I don't have anything there right but if you want to have something there you can you just say secondary overlay text you're going to say um continue right so if you click on that if you leave that then that means it'll show continue after they've opened it and they've closed it right notification count that's the little number that shows up on this on the side of the bot right here um uh there's a there's a little bot right there that has the what's up and then down the bottom is where the is the image so you can have um actually that's uh no that's okay then you can put two or five or three or four or five whatever you want that's what's going to show up on the little number there and you can choose who it is right it can either be this uh, real person there's have these images that are there that you can choose <clears throat> and then they have all these like bot looking uh and then they have these bot looking ones too right have these bots if you want all these different options so there's two different uh there's two different icons the bot preload and the bot afterload so the preload is the one that whoops <clears throat> the preload is the one that shows up down the bottom of the page right uh and then the afterload is the one that shows up after you've loaded you chances are you want the same one for if you're using a person right otherwise um and you can just go here to just just show me the robot or but all of them right um 
but that's just the design of it and I I you can upload you can add and then you actually upload upload from computer or gallery or whatever right so you can actually upload your own image to your bot so for me I've actually uploaded before so I can go into a gallery and it shows me the ones I already have right some of them that I some images I uploaded to my bot right so this one here is the one that is a moving one my moving hand right see how my moving hand is like this right so that's after actually actually that's actually not the right one it would be down here down here that I would want to use the the before load one right this one would be the before load my before load right here uh, this one here and then my after load so that's the one I have before my load after my load I want to after the bot is loaded I want it to be just me which doesn't have this so this one here right <clears throat> there so I just want to use that that's what I would use that's what I that's the design of the bot right so next is so just save that so the next thing is the settings so the settings is a bunch of other things you can do for your bot I'm at 30 we're at 36 minutes I should probably get that so under the settings you got the bot name you got the custom domain if you want to have a custom domain you've got the page title the like see there's a whole bunch of other but these are all like uh, uh, you can have an auto close bot if you want you can have a this the delayed bot you can open it on one time only open bot on cursor hover open bot on exit all these different things you can do in uh, not in these are extreme features right so you don't have these unless you get the extreme bot which is an upgrade uh not but it's very cheap by the way anyways so sound on and off uh sound on bot load initial message those kinds of things um what else and then goal you can set your goal and then if you have if you're asking for an email you're going to be able to say add somebody uh, over here marketing automation right capturing email if you uh, if you capture an email it'll show um, uh, the block where you're capturing the email here is an option you can have more than one place where you capture the email and then you're going to be able to say integrate with Aweber and I want to have on a certain list right whatever you can do that so that somebody gets added to a list whenever they get added now by the way I'm not going to be able to cover more in this episode but if you have questions if you want to know how to set up your bot and you decide to get your bot through my link I'll be happy to help you with any questions you have just go ahead and reach out comment in, the, in this in, in this blog post or maybe uh, reach out on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram or whatever just go ahead and, and reach out and let me know that you got your bot through my link and we'll and I'll I'll help you we can do a zoom we can do different things uh just reach out or comment below and ask your question and I can help you whether you got the bot through me or not just go ahead and comment with your questions or anything like that and we'll help you all right have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.